Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see a new tutorial. We are going to learn about Grafana. This will be first video on Grafana, I will be creating more in coming weeks. Grafana is open source visualization and analytics software. It allows you to query, visualize, alert on, and explore your metrics no matter whether they are stored in database, Splunk, or any other tools. We will be going through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Grafana on CentOS machine in this video, and initial setup of Grafana to configure your dashboards. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and provide your comments. We are going to download Grafana and install on CentOS machine. Go to https slash slash grafana.com slash grafana slash download and select your operating system. If you have any other operating system like Windows or Mac, you can use the respective downloads. We will select the latest version 6.7.1. Follow the steps as you see on the screen. To download the RPM package, we need to have wget on the CentOS machine. Let's install wget and then download the Grafana package.
The default configurations are saved in the file slash etc slash graphina slash graphina.ini. We will learn more about the configuration files in upcoming tutorial. Start the Graphina server using the command system ctl start graphina hyphen server. The default port for Graphina is 3000. The web page is not loading because the port 3000 is not opened in the machine. We need to open the port 3000 in the firewall. The steps are given in the video description. Great! We have the Graphina page opened. The default login user ID is admin and password is also admin. Once you login, you will be asked to change the password. Run the command system ctl enable graphina hyphen server to create graphina as a service, and graphina will start on the system boot. We can add different data sources to graphina from which we can get the data and configure the dashboards and visualization. In this tutorial we are going to use the sample data source. We will see more about other data sources in upcoming tutorials.
We have done the installation of Grafana on the CentOS machine as part of this tutorial, and you have a Grafana instance ready for upcoming tutorials. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share, and comment.